thing that kind of what I dreamt we might create over time, but it took, it took a lot of time to do it. It never seemed like we were making that progress, much progress on any one day, but compound interest works. It's amazing how many people overlook Warren Buffett's other significant strengths and choose to focus only on his expertise as a value investor, all while ignoring the fact that he was repeatedly named the richest man in the world. A highly admired, respected, and emulated investor globally is none other than Warren Buffett. Compared to popular perceptions of him, his story is significantly more intriguing. This is a brief overview of some of the lesser-known facts regarding Warren Buffett and his career. Let's get started. At 90, he is currently worth about $81 billion, but a good deal of that was accrued after he turned 50, and $70 billion arrived after he turned 60 and was eligible for Social Security payments. That being said, there is a crucial distinction between Buffett's success and his investing aptitude. The fact that he has been an exceptional investor for the past 75 years is the true secret to his success. Had he begun investing in his 30s and retired in his 60s, he would have remained unknown to most people. When Buffett was 10 years old, he started investing seriously. He was worth $1 million when he turned 30 or $9.3 million after inflation was taken into account. However, what if he had been a regular person who traveled the world and discovered his love in his teens and 20s, earning at most $25,000 by the time he was 30? Buffett's durability into his senior years and the financial foundation he established during his youth account for nearly all of his wealth. This is how compounding functions, or to put it another way, Buffett is the wealthiest investor in history. However, based on average annual returns, he isn't the best in reality. As a matter of fact, 99.7% of his total wealth was acquired after turning 52. That in no way implies that he was a late bloomer. He slowly accumulated his money after setting out on the path to financial success at a very young age. He started purchasing shares when he was 11 years old. He distributed newspapers, submitted his first tax return, and owned several pinball machines that were used in different establishments while he was a youngster. He already had a share in a 40-acre farm when he graduated. He was an incorrigible businessman who took an irrational approach to building his fortune. After graduating from college, he began working for renowned investor Benjamin Graham. He established an investing partnership with friends and family and invested all of his money there using the knowledge he gained from that place. In the end, he ended the partnership, gave up running it, and acquired majority equity in Berkshire Hathaway, the business that bears his name. He paid $25 million for C's candies in his early 40s, and over the next 40-plus years, the business would turn a $2 billion profit. The median household income in the United States was $21,000 in 1978. That was 4,000, 500 times less than Buffett's riches. The first list of the 400 richest Americans was published by Forbes in 1982. In every year that the list has been in existence, Buffett has been on it. When he made his debut, his net worth was said to be $250 million. He tripled that amount three years later, and in just four years, he tripled his $1 billion in wealth to reach $3.6 billion in 1989. According to Forbes, Buffett's net worth as of July 2018 was $86.6 billion. Surprisingly, while earning an 11-figure salary, he receives a meager $100,000 paycheck from Berkshire Hathaway and uses it wisely. But how did he enlarge his wealth so quickly and extensively? To put it broadly, he kept himself broke by keeping his expenses low enough to allow him to have money left over for further investments. He also made prudent investments in real assets that generated a positive cash flow for him each month. His method of investing and becoming wealthy was irrational. In what specific way was he unreasonable? There were people all around him congratulating him on his success, encouraging him to unwind, stop working so hard, and enjoy the rewards of his efforts. He never wavered or coasted, maintaining his same work ethic and investing strategy year after year. In an effort to encourage his fellow Nebraskans to cast ballots, Buffett launched the Drive to Vote website in 2016. The website offers help with voter registration and, if necessary, transportation to polling places. Buffett mentions that he no longer values IBM as highly as he did six years ago as he starts to sell off part of his estimated 81 million shares of IBM stock. Approximately 37 million shares are his net remaining shares. As a result of his increased investment in Apple, Berkshire Hathaway now owns the most amount of common stock in that single firm.
Buffett becomes the biggest shareholder of Bank of America, with over 700 million shares, after exercising certain warrants. It is believed that the Oracle of Omaha is worth $84.5 billion. Buffett expands Berkshire Hathaway's investment portfolio by including Chick Morgan Chase and Bank of New York Mellon. On February 23, 2019, Buffett released his yearly letter to Berkshire Hathaway stockholders. He says that Berkshire's achievement can be attributed to the American tailwind. 22 Buffett acknowledges that he overpaid for Kraft Heinz in a February 25 interview with CNBC, but he says he has no plans to buy or sell the company's stock. Beyond all these facts, there was also a rumor that he earned and became rich due to his rich family background. Do you think Warren Buffett became rich with his family background? According to the sources, Warren Buffett came from a very wealthy background, but he is a self-made man. After running a stock brokerage business, his father was elected to the U.S. Congress. Buffett was able to enroll at esteemed universities like Columbia University as a result. However, he did find his own business and make his investments, which ultimately brought him great wealth. Developing yourself is by far the best investment, says Warren Buffet. He states specifically, I would say the first area I would work on to enhance your value throughout life is communication skills because if you can't talk to people, you'll have a real problem selling anything stocks or anything else. In the end, you have to acquire abilities that people are prepared to pay for. Buffett says, your abilities can't be inflated away from you. Or to put it in more financially oriented terms, you're set for success when you do. Buffett's approach to investing is similar to that of a bargain hunter. It conveys a sensible, grounded approach. Buffett carries this mentality over to other facets of his life. He doesn't drive a limousine to work, he doesn't own a large house, and he doesn't collect automobiles. Whether you respect Buffett or not, the value investing approach has its detractors, but the evidence speaks for itself. Sources say that Buffett adheres to the value investing philosophy of Benjamin Graham. Value investors search for stocks whose prices, relative to their inherent value, are absurdly low. Although there isn't a single widely accepted technique to calculate intrinsic worth, it's typically calculated by looking at a company's financial statements. A value investor looks for stocks that most other buyers don't identify or that the market believes are undervalued. Most people undoubtedly know him best for being among the wealthiest investors in the world. Warren Buffett's investment technique has become legendary. He adheres to a philosophy of investing and several other significant principles. What do you feel about his journey? Comment down if you get inspired. If you want to know more about movie and drama updates, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to not miss out on any video and to get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our videos. Catch you next time.